Hello again, after the starter deck number 15, we also have 16, Darkness Reborn with Bardock. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, to be precise, Reborn from Darkness. I love Bardock, I've always uh, loved him, and uh, yeah, let's open up a starter deck with him to see what we get. I'm guessing more unison uh, stuff that works together with it. That's what we have seen in the other deck as well. We get a rules manual, a version 3.0. We get a uh, play mat with the theme of the deck with Bardock. And yeah, let's open it up and uh, see what all the cards are and how it works together. The other deck relies heavily on unison cards. So what do we have here? We have um, a 15k leader. Uh, with an auto, when this card attacks, draw one card, and then it's an auto once per turn. Add one card from your life to your hand when you remove uh, a marker from one of your black unison cards using a spirit boost skill. Switch this card to active mode and negate its keyword skills for the turn. All right. Activate main once per turn, burst three. If a black card is placed in your drop area by this skill, this card gains critical for the turn. If a non-black card is placed in your drop area uh, by this skill, this card gets uh, plus 5k power for the turn. Alright, pretty simple, pretty neat. Masked Saiyan, uh, activate main, once per turn, burst 3. Add up to one card from your life to your hand, uh, if a black card is placed, yeah, okay, so that's the same as the ability on the front. Then Awaken, when your life is at 4 or less, you may draw one card, switch up to one uh, of your energy to active mode, then flip this card over. 10k power card. Cool, so that's uh, even less work to flip it over than uh, old Vegeta. Then we have the Dark Masked King. Spirit Resonance for X. It's a unison card for 5k power. Um, and it has an auto. If your leader card is a Black Saiyan only card, when this card is placed in your drop area from your deck by one of your skills, if you don't have a unison card in play, you may play this card from your drop area with a marker on it. Auto, once per turn. When you remove a marker from this card using a spirit boost skill, your opponent chooses one of their battle cards with an energy cost of one or less and sends it to its owner's warp. Nice. And then it only has one ability, plus two. Activate main. If your leader card is a Black Saiyan card and you choose one card uh, in your hand and discard it, and this card gets plus 4k power for the turn for each color in your energy. All right, cool. And again, we get two of those, uh, probably for the rest as well. Um, so we have here a red card for six, Dark Broly, Spirit Boost Berserker. It's a unique card with permanent. This card is also treated as black in all areas. Auto, when this card is placed, uh, played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 15k power for the turn. Activate main, limit one. You can only uh, activate one uh, at this skill once per turn across all copies of this card. Spirit boost one, you must remove a marker from your unison cards to activate this skill. And therefore one, uh, if you have three or more energy and you send one red card, one blue card, one green card and one yellow card from your drop area to the warp, play this card from your drop area or warp and it gains critical for the turn. Nice, and it's a 30k power card. All right, so that's interesting. Very interesting indeed. For five, we have a blue card here. A Masked Saiyan, Spirit Boost Enigma. Uh, 15k power, unique and dual attack with activate main. Limit one, Spirit Boost one. And then for yeah, just one, if your leader card is a Masked Saiyan or Bardock Xeno card, and you discard this card from your hand, your opponent may choose one card... Uh, from their life and place it at the bottom of their deck. If they don't, play this card from your drop area. Two of those. Then we have the uh, Black Masked Saiyan Spirit Boost Minion, which is a yellow card for one uh, 4k power, not that much. And as a permanent, if your leader card is a Masked Saiyan or Bardock Xeno card, treat this card uh, in your hand as if it has no specified cost, or else it does one yellow. As an auto, uh, once per turn, Add one card from your life to your hand. Uh, when its card attacks, it gains, it gets plus 11k power for the turn. Then activate main. Uh, once per turn, spirit boost one. Switch this card to active mode. Oh, sweet. 
Sweet indeed. Then we go over to the reprints. Uh, like I said with the previous one, the reprints are from sets across um, Dragon Ball. Well, not from set one by the looks of it. Set four. Up until the uh, recent set. So what do we get? We get Dimension Support Trunks from set four. From set five, Temporal Rescue Trunks. Used to be a pretty good card, I think. Power Burst also used to be a good card. Is it still? Uh, from set five. Aider Aid from set six. We have from set seven, we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Also from uh, set seven, Son Goku making an entrance. Set 8, Super Kamehameha. Set 11, Super Saiyan Son Goku, Time Patrol Elite. Uh, set 12, Toa, Dimensional Meddler. We have Son Goku, Catastrophic Premonition, also set 12. From the same set, Son Goku, the True Fighting Spirit. Also set 12, Vegeta, Catastrophic Premonition. Also set 12. Wow, a lot of uh, set 12. Vegeta, the true fighting spirit. And then we go to set 13, Trunks. Draft Booster 1, Remote Serious Bomb. Oh, that's a nice looking art. Looks really cool. Also from the Draft Booster, Super Saiyan 3, Tag Team Trunks. Really neat. Looks awesome. Draft Booster 2, Impregnable Fortress Anilaza. Uh, draft Booster 3, Bardock. Also, Draft Booster 3, Super Saiyan Son Goku. Trunks, the Changing History. Also, Draft Booster 3. And from the same set, Demigra, Demon Realm Sorcerer. And there you have it, everyone. That's the Bardock um, Darkness Reborn deck. Starter deck opening. Thank you all for watching. And see you all next time. Bye-bye.